Hey guys, this is Albert and here I have the Acer Aspire ES1 311. So I did a review of this notebook quite a while ago and it was pretty positive I must say. And the most responses and questions I got about this notebook were about uh, the hard drive and how people can uh, remove it and replace it with an SSD. So today I'm going to show you how to remove your hard drive and replace it with an SSD, therefore I bought a Samsung Evo 840 uh, with 250 gigabytes of storage, which should be enough for a normal notebook user. And what you will have to look for when buying an SSD for this notebook is that it should be seven millimeters thin and not 10 millimeters. So there are many, I think, I think from SanDisk, which are 10 millimeters and they will not fit in the housing of the hard drive. And so look for, a, for an SSD, which is uh, seven millimeters. Uh, first of all, you will have to remove 12 screws on the bottom of the case which is done pretty quickly. You can see all of them because they are not covered and these are basically all the holes on the bottom of the case. What you will then do is you have to remove the bottom plastic from the uh, housing of the notebook and for that I would use a plastic removal tool or in my case it's just a thin plastic from uh, guitars and this is done pretty quickly but you have to make sure that you don't break the plastic inside of the notebook because uh, else you will, will not be able to close the case again completely and uh, this would look pretty badly. And just uh, take a thin plastic tool and take your time to uh, not to destroy anything on your notebook. So then you can see the hard drive which is on the right side of the main board um, and on the hard drive you will you will have to remove three scre screws so one is found on the right side the other is on the right top side where the main board is and where you can also find the cooler and then there's one on the other side where the battery is but what I did here is pretty stupid I removed the second screw on the right on the on the left side first before remo removing the one uh, in front of it and I just forgot it was important but um, you will have to do this in order to remove the cover which uh, you can see here and just remove the screw and uh, then you can just take the cover off and you can see your hard drive there. So once you can see your hard drive just pull it out and don't uh, damage the connector which is on the left side so just pull it out and then you have uh, basically removed your hard, uh, hard drive and then take your SSD look where the ports are in my case they are on the right side here and then just take your SSD and put it there where your hard drive was just uh, look, make sure to uh, put it in the right way and then you can again put the cover up just make sure that the holes are on the same place where they've been and that you put the cover back the right way. So this is a pretty straightforward process as you can see just uh, fix the screws again and then you're pretty much done with replacing your hard drive. The only thing you then have to do is to put the cover back on again. And this is like removing the cover in the first place, one of the hardest parts in this tutorial. So don't break the plastic on the sides and make sure that uh, the cover is not damaged when putting it back in. Finally, you just have to Put the, put the 12 screws back in again and you have replaced your hard drive on your Acer Aspire ES1. This is a pretty straightforward process if you know what you're doing and if you know how, how you're doing it. If you have any questions just ask it in the comments below. 
uh, if you're not sure, um, before buying a, a, a hard drive, just uh, send me the hard drive with the name or the link, basically whatever you want, and I will tell you if it will fit in your notebook. Make sure you don't buy the wrong product. And I will uh, post some uh, compatible hard drives in the description so you know uh, which hard drive you can use and uh, which you probably shouldn't. Now you just have to install the operating system uh, on it or back up your data of your old hard drive to your new SSD and have fun with your 10 second booting notebook. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.